In this week's retro news, Salt and Peppa, the rap group that was popular in the 80s and 90s, is getting a biopic miniseries. Also, Wang Chung is back with a brand new album. And we have tons of movie news that we're going to cover, so don't turn that dial. All systems are functional. What up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch, your nostalgia channel where we talk about current news that relates to all things retro. Alright, so I grew up totally loving rap, R&B, hip-hop, and maybe a little bit of pop and rock and roll. But one of my favorite all-time girl rap groups of the 80s and 90s had to be Salt and Pepper. Having great songs like Let's Talk About Sex, Shoop, and Push It, although those were really fun songs, they were not what made them really stand out to me. It was their in your face, hear me roar, we can do this as good as any man attitude that I loved about them. Plus, in the 1990s, Salt and Pepper, they had the market on style. If you were wearing Nubian clothes or dressing in all colorful stuff in the 90s, I guarantee you that Salt and Pepper had some kind of impact on your style. But fast forward to 2019, the cable channel Lifetime is going to be doing a mini series that chronicles the life and times of Cheryl James and Sandra Denton, which are the duo that make up Salt and Pepper. I know, there's actually three. I get it. Now, Lifetime has not yet confirmed how many episodes are going to be in this miniseries, according to Variety.com, but I'm still real happy to hear that they're working on this biopic. It's being produced by Queen Latifah's Flavor Unit Entertainment, and this is the first time that a network has attempted to share the story on film. And once I get news on the miniseries, I'm going to let you guys know. Who could ever forget that classic 80s hit, Everybody Have Fun Tonight? Well, Wang Chung, the guys who made that song, they're going to be coming back. And they have a new album that they're releasing called Orchisography. It's going to be coming out in May, so be sure to keep an eye out for that new album. And then in some movie news, the Addams Family animated movie, which is due to hit theaters on October 18, 2019, they finally have a poster. It's been a pretty long time since we've heard from this iconic family and got to see them on the big screen. So I'm pretty glad that they're moving forward with this movie. And then according to MovieWeb.com, Warner Brothers believe they have finally found the right villain for the upcoming Tom and Jerry live action movie. It is going to be none other than Peter Dinklage. If this, is, if this news is actually true, I'm more excited for this movie than I was when I first heard about the new Tom and Jerry movie coming out. And then Toxic Avenger. I loved that movie growing up. Y'all remember that cult classic, right? It's a campy 1984 superhero comedy. And the origin story centers around a janitor who is chased out a second story window. He falls into a vat of toxic waste, which causes him to turn into the iconic Toxic Avenger. Throughout the years, there's been three sequels, some action figures, and a cartoon series that have really kept the brand alive. However, with the resurgence of 80s horror remakes, it's even more popular. I think they're going to have a larger budget to work with on this new movie. But I think that part of Toxie's charm was the, the low budget uh, way that they did it and the aesthetic that they had with it. I think that's what made us love it a lot. Right now, the script is still being written, so it's going to be a little while before we hear anything new on this project, so stay tuned for that. And then last up, HBO is working on a five-part miniseries called Chernobyl that's about the infamous April 1986 accident at the nuke plant in Ukraine, which was hit with a massive explosion that sent radioactive material as far as Scandinavia and Western Europe. And if you love history and want to know more about the Chernobyl disaster that happened, it comes out on May 6th on HBO. And with that news, if you like the video and are into retro and nostalgia, I would be honored if you'd consider subscribing to the channel. Also, be sure to check out that next video that's right over there. All right, my peeps, I will catch you on the flip side. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.